This is a, a video for Chorizo1337. Uh, I hope I said that right. Um, and you know, I have my up days and my down days, and uh, the last few days have not been up days. So I haven't been responding to much. Uh, and I, I do, I did read your uh, message, and uh, I, I do. Uh, I actually didn't know if I was going to respond to it or not. I do read everything. It's just sometimes I get uh, a, a little uh, burned out and I take some steps away. Um, and really, the stuff that you're asking me and talking about, there are people that are far more intelligent and far more educated in this particular stuff than I am. I can only give you my opinion and... Uh, tell you what I think and, and what kind of truths I've gleaned from what I've experienced in life. And I will do that for you now, because uh, I, I did enjoy uh, reading your message and uh, I'd happen, happen to agree with you. Uh, I'm just going to go down the, the message and answer some of the stuff. Uh, uh, you're right. First of all, I'm going to say that I'm an atheist. Having this title does not make you automatically intellectual superior than others. It just means you don't believe in as much bullshit, respectively or subjectively. Uh, and I agree. Uh, it, it doesn't make me superior. I, I never uh, I never think I'm better than anyone else or smarter than anyone else. Uh, I, I, I do get smarmy and sarcastic, uh, but it's almost always to prove a point or to, to make a point. Uh, I, I don't think I'm better than anyone else. Uh, I, I think I might have some better perspective than others, but I don't think my brain is superior to other people's brains. Just just so you know where I'm coming from, I'm just a schlump like everybody else. Uh, I think what the truth or girls meant uh, was that BP was an inside job for the cap and trade le legislation. And you go on to that you don't believe in conspiracies and uh, uh, the government takes some uh, advantage of these particular issues, yes. <sighs> Why would BP do that? Why? I, I, I've heard that the, the Truther girls explaining that BP did it so that they could uh, pass legislation and get into the green energy market and, and so on and so forth. Uh, and this so they would be able to have a commanding position in the green energy market. Uh, they didn't need to do that. BP is the biggest bully in the playground. They, they don't need to cause damage to themselves or to their particular uh, energy market in order to get into another energy market. An example, and most of my examples are bad, so just go with it. My, my example is the biggest bully in the playground. It would be like the biggest bully in the playground beating himself up to prove that he's the biggest bully in the playground and that, that he is king of the playground. BP doesn't need to beat themselves up. If they wanted to get into a new energy market, they would just do it. In fact, they are just doing it. Uh, they don't need to cause a false flag in order to do this. Uh, as far as BP knowing that it was going to happen, I, I, I believe fully that they did know. Uh, from... The timetables of what happened, people selling stocks, people buying shares in particular companies, uh, I do believe that they did know it was going to happen. I believe they knew stuff was broken. They had been negligent for too many years. Uh, shit was going wrong and they saw it happening. Uh, and they, like you, would take actions to cover your ass. Um, Probably not like the CEOs did. Uh, you would blow the whistle and say, we've got shit coming down the line. We need help, and we're going to do this. What they did, since they are corporate uh, scum, let's go with that. Uh, they're not all scum. Not everyone's corporate scum, but these are corporate scum. They saw what was coming, and they went, oh, what will happen if this blows? Well, our company stock's going to drop, so I'm going to sell a bunch of those. What are we going to need? Oh, we're going to need uh, dispersants, so I'm going to buy a company that, or buy into the company that has dispersants. Uh, so it's not really a conspiracy, it's just logic. All you have to do is step back and take a look at what they did, and instead of thinking they planned it, just uh, think that they saw what was coming and they reacted to it. 
uh, and they took advantage of it, just as all the political leaders are doing uh, with the same tragedy. Uh, good or bad, that's what they're doing, and that's what people do. Uh, if, you know, you crack an egg, what are you going to do, throw it away? No, you make scrambled eggs. So, you, you use what you got, and that's what they do. Um, now into the whole green energy thing, oil is bad, but do you know why oil is dominating the market? Because of regulations and protectionism. Yes, yes, you're exactly right. The same things a lot of liberals defend and don't realize. I'm assuming you're a stereotypical liberal, liberal atheist. Uh, not stereotypical, but uh, as far as a generaliza generalization goes, that's, that's pretty close. Um, thanks to government power, lobbying allows protection subsidies of oil. Thus, sure, yep, yep, yep. Uh, therefore, there are too many other barriers to entry into a new form of energy. Uh, it's just not worth it for most investors. You're right. Right now the current energy source we have available are cheaper than alternative due to government protection. Yes and no. Uh, they are cheaper right now uh, because of government intervention, subsidies, uh, but the real issue has been the technology. Uh, solar panels, uh, for instance, have been Expe excuse me, expensive to make and not very efficient. Uh, but just like computer technology, cell phone technology, uh, as time goes by, technology gets better and cheaper. Uh, cell phones don't cost 10000 apiece uh, anymore for just a phone. They are, a lot of them are free and have cameras and internet and the technology gets better and cheaper. Same with solar panels. Uh, the, the tipping point is right around the corner. Two to three years, I would say, and the cost of installing and buying solar panels will be cheaper than staying with here FPL, Florida Power and Light, uh, will be cheaper than burning coal. As soon as the technology gets to the point where they can mass produce it and make it cheap, just like a computer and a cell phone, and make it efficient, that's the tipping point. And BP will be shit out of luck with that because that's a renewable source that they can't continue to sell us. Unlike hydrogen and uh, uh, natural gas. That's something BP wants so they can continue refining and selling a fuel, which they'll continue doing. There's applications for that too, but the reason we don't have alternative energies or that it's just now becoming more popular is become, it's becoming cheap enough that the everyday schmuck can afford it. Uh, I don't yet have solar panels on my roof, but uh, once it becomes affordable, which it will, I'll have it on there. Uh, and actually, I'm looking into that uh, uh, this this winter. Uh, so hopefully, um, and I'll, I'll make a video on that. Uh, how much time do I got? Hey, we're, we're getting close. Also, cap and trade is <clears throat> just a scam to add to the energy. Yeah, this is why I didn't make the video. <clears throat> or I wasn't going to. Well, pretending to champion the earth. Uh, a lot of cap and trade is going to be a scam. Uh, I understand if you step back and, and, and just assume that not all politicians are evil scumbags, why would they do that? Uh, well, it took a law to get seatbelts in cars. It, it took a law to stop uh, companies from polluting. So, if they make it more expensive to pollute, companies aren't going to want to pollute. So I believe that is their intention. But you're going to get a lot of scumbags and uh, pickpockets and just uh, uh, people that are going to try and work the system. You're going to have that. What are you going to do? Uh, just chuck it? Uh, we could do that. Uh, I would love us to stop subsidizing oil. That, I think, would fix a lot of it. Uh, here is a rational atheist who is very popular giving reasons. Okay, that's a link. Uh, I haven't watched that yet. Uh, while atheists try to be rational and reasonable, they unfortunately respond get spoon-fed way too much to the government. These are called statheists. Now, I am <clears throat> uh, uh, it's sort of a statist. I mean, we get together in society to help each other. Otherwise, what would be the point? And once you get a group of people together, it's more convenient to have a group of people that you elect to get things done, or else it's, it's chaos. Uh, not anarchy, it's chaos. Uh, and even anarchy 
is at when you need something done, people get together and they get it done. Anarchists will say, well, then you disperse. But if you don't, well, then you have a state. So uh, I, I think that's the end of my time. I'm going to cut this. If you have more, I, I may respond. Uh, thank you, though, for the letter.